Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure, and this is Transport Fever in the Alps. Uh, although this particular mountain, not particularly Alp-like. Um, uh, yes, you join me just outside uh, my latest goods route, or just alongside my latest goods route, at, at what will eventually become a rather spectacular dirt bike course, unless I get around to smoothing it at some point. I mean, look at this for a mess. Crying out loud. I can't wait till I've got the cash to sort that out, you know. Um, but yes, things are going along rather well. Uh, we've got, uh, well, the best part of half a million quid in the bank. Um, and, and that's off the back of me having paid the loan down a bit recently. This is, look at this. Uh, my, uh, my drone cam is, is working perfectly here. Uh, keeping pace with the goods. We'll even go under the bridge. Oh, I mean, when you get when you get a good follow cam going, uh, you wanna you wanna ride that for as long as possible. Let's see what happens when we get up the other side of the bank. Am I gonna have to superman it in front of the train? Do a gentle turn. Of the, no, 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 no. We're gonna have to get further away. Further away. That's right. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. I'm an expert. There we go. And then hang it around. No, hit by the train. Um, yes, there we go. So, uh, this particular train is carrying 32 of 32 cattle, which will pay off to the tune of about 150 grand, uh, which is absolutely splendid. Uh, on the way back, it will be carrying uh, food. Uh, how much has it actually got waiting right now? We've got 20. 20 food waiting. That's, that's pretty acceptable. Um, uh, which it will drop and make a bit more cash on the way back. So, I think it's fairly safe to say that's a success. Uh, which is great. And in fact, uh, based on the station over there, there's 83 livestock waiting. We could be doing a lot more. Uh, however, we rounded out the last episode with me making some kind of lofty notion about ships. Um, so uh, so I think we probably ought to do some ships today. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not entirely certain what I'm going to do, but ships will be involved. And I want you to stick around and be party to that. So obviously this is not so much of a ship, uh, this is a tram. Well spotted, good job, uh, go to the head of the class. Um, and, uh, and we're following this tram because right at the end of the last episode uh, a new version of tram had been introduced, had been made available. So uh, I'm going to set that on replace right now. Uh, we have a couple of choices for you. Uh, we have the, uh, the alternate design horse tram, which is absolutely identical. And then there's a horse trolley car, which has extra capacity and is a little bit faster. There's, there's no real decision to be made there. We'll just leave that running. I don't want to splash out on getting early replacement done. They can run their full lifespan before, uh, before getting replaced. Uh, while I'm about it, uh, we've also got uh, brand new goods vehicles. I mean, to call it a vehicle is perhaps gilding that particular lily. But uh, uh, yes, we've got, uh, we've got the, new, no, the new goods vehicle which is uh, the, uh, the uh, American horse cart. Well, we've actually got a choice of two. We've got the American horse cart, which has got the double horse train at the front. Hmm, nice. Uh, or the, uh, or the, the European horse cart, which is just taller. Uh, but we're going to go American this time around, because, you know, well, why wouldn't you, frankly? Uh, so again, I'm leaving that just on a plain uh, auto-replace, uh, and it will figure itself out over the fullness of time. Um, you know, we'll do this chap as well at the same time. In fact, I think I've already done this one. What are you currently replacing? You're replacing all those. Fine, you, you, you stick with that, son. Uh, that's, that's all good. Uh, and then over here, these ones I'm gonna make American. Excellent, right, leave those going. Um, now, we also had the Oblisant uh, introduced, uh, and I'm gonna set that up on here. Don't worry, I'm not going to fill the entire episode with me just replacing vehicles, because, you know, that's, that's not particularly riveting. Uh, although, I think we had a new stagecoach introduced. Or maybe I'm imagining it. No, it's due soon. Uh, so we'll go with this. Uh, this steam omnibus will, uh, will be part of the, uh, of the network going forward. Uh, I just make the, make the one replacement for now. Everything else can just hang on. Uh, right, we're talking shipping. Uh, which means we should probably head down here. Now, our ship choices initially, I think, are largely... See, this is where having a, having a, 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 a dockyard already set up would be valuable. Because um, I can't remember if I can ship goods or not yet. I'm going to suggest that I can. 
Uh, either way, this looks like a good place for a for a shipyard. Uh, let's uh, let's get this uh, get this effigy uh, plonked in the water, and not an awful lot of variety when it comes to ships. In fact, it's the one area of uh, of modding for the game that uh, that few people seem to actually be interested in, which is a shame. Uh, I, I love me some ships and uh, and would welcome some more. So if that's the sort of thing you do for fun, go and do it for fun. I don't need to hook that up to anything, do I? No, just leave it alone. So what have we got available? Oh, okay, well, we do have choices. Fine. You can tell it's been a while since I played the early stage of the game. Uh, so passenger-wise, we've got uh, the Riggy here, the Riggy. Um, uh, which was built in England and assembled in Luzerne. Uh, brilliant. Uh, and that will carry 50 passengers at a relatively decent speed. Uh, Freight-wise, however, we've got uh, this bulk oil cruising malarkey, uh, or uh, this chap who will quite happily do food. Now, um, food is what it's going to be, I want it because, because they're the big earners. Uh, as much as you only tend to earn in one direction, or, or do they? I mean, if I were to drop off somewhere clever, we could possibly do a little better than that. Uh, the question is, is there anything clever available? I don't think so. I'd quite like to drop at Stans. Uh, Stans seems to be relatively straightforward. Um, but equally, I'd quite like to do Luzerne as well. Maybe we set ourselves up here between the two and then distribute by coach. That, that I feel, is probably... Well, it's going to be the cheapest way to go. It saves me buying two ports instead of one. I mean, this is going to be, this is going to be half a million quid straight down the pan. Uh, so, you know, we need to make it, you know, pay off quickly. Where's the, give me the, co uh, flipping contour tool. Give me the contour tool. Contour me one time. Um, right. Mm, where's, where's good? See, ironically, this, this would be quite a, quite a splendid co connection here. Too much slope. Oh, well, okay, maybe it wouldn't be a splendid connection. All right, we're going to have to do something with uh, with sloping then. So, uh, so splitting midway between the two. Apologies for the uh, the swift camera movement, uh, but right about there, two hundred grand. I don't think I'm going to get it any cheaper than that, really. Two oh six. All right, sold. Do we left, right, docks? No, we want to go right. There we are. Two oh seven. I'll take it. Thank you. Right. Okay. Uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, we'll then run a, uh, a, a a medium country lane here, uh, and that, this isn't going to be cheap either. Yeah, you see, you're going you're gonna to sting me for as much as possible due to the gouge that you're carving out of the earth, uh, and then we'll hook up onto this uh, onto this interstate by not paying enough attention and putting this flipping great lump in it. Oh, what's the, you're off to you're off to a flyer today, dear me. Uh, no, that will not stand. Smooth. I know, I'm even, I'm even spending money on smoothing at this I'm very short on money stage of the game. Because I've got no sense, obviously. And smoothed. Right? Yes, smoothed. Alright, that was money I didn't really need to spend. Alright, you just, just go straight, alright? I don't need you going any higher. Alright, maybe that high. And then, just that's it, stay nice and straight, hook up onto there like you should have done the first time. And we've still got a bit of a hump in. I'm just going to live with it. Uh, that's, that's what we're going to do there. And then we need a truck stop here. Uh, it's tempting to use the little, the little tiddly truck station. But actually, that's a terrible idea, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, let's see if you'll fit in without too much. I don't want to pay 200 grand for a truck stop. Holy mackerel, do you, I mean, you think I was born yesterday? I mean, I need you to be in range of the docks and all, but uh, construction's not possible. Uh, let's find somewhere where the construction is possible. Fight the terrain alignment collision, damn it. Don't just, don't just settle for that. 40 grand, all right. That will probably save me a bit of money in plonking this because we've we've handled some of the uh, some of the smoothing. Fifty nine. All right, you're in range. You're in range. Okay. All right, fine. 
Well, it's, I mean, that's unattractive. I, I, I keep pointing out that things are unattractive, but that's because I intend to come back to them at a later date and, and make them, you know, pretty and what have you. Uh, I, I mean, ruggedly handsome, uh, pretty indeed. Uh, right, let's find a, an in-town truck stoppage kind of a kind of a deal here. What's your coverage like there, Tiddle? What if we don't remove a building? If you do remove a building, great coverage. If you don't, poor coverage. What if we stick you in here? Oh, look at that. Oh, we can sl we can just slot it in there. That's beautiful. Perfect. All right, good. So that's Luzerne catered for, and then stands as well. And to be honest, I think that one, even with one ship running that route, uh, we will do well here. Uh, Whiz it around. Good coverage. Sold. Excellent. Uh, we might as well bang out. Oh, no, we've got a depot. Why have I got a depot? Oh, because we're running a passenger line. That's why. Okay, good. Right, well, that's one half of the thing set up. Uh, let's just check we've got clearance under that bridge. That's good. And then... No clearance under that one, but that's okay. I don't need it there. Uh, where I need it is attached to this bit of road, and then hopefully... Actually, no, there isn't even a prayer that the station is in is in range. Unless I can get the dock in here and then reshape this road again, because obviously, you know, it was so much fun to do it the first six times. Uh, let's have a look. What do we think? Well, I, I think it's going to go. I think it's going to fit. All right? Uh, hold on, let's turn off the uh, navigatable waters. Let's turn that off. And, of course, I am living dangerously by dragging the dock around with me. Uh, there's nothing more exhilarating than potentially wasting a couple of hundred grand. Uh, right, let's, uh, I need you as close as humanly possible to this station. Because if I get that right, it's going to be superb. If I get it wrong, then it won't be. Right, I need you. I don't have a lot of choice here. Let's, uh, let's get it as close to the bridge as possible, obviously. Uh, it's going to have to be about there. Now, the other challenge we've got here is I need that road to connect up. Oh, yeah, that was me just immediately committing to buying the thing. Don't try and do anything clever. Oh, there should have been a little bit more planning here, I think. Uh, you might be, I don't know where that truck went, but it, I'm sure it's in a happier place now. Right, okay, there we go. Uh, uh, an aggressive turn, fine. Get it under the bridge. No, no, no. Under the bridge. Under the bridge is good. And then stop trying to snap to the bridge. I don't need you to be that clever. Right, and then around the corner, up the hill to the thing. Place your bets. Now's the time to place your bets. Are we in range? We are in range. Well, that's that's worked perfectly. I mean, I, no one more surprised than myself. Uh, but there you go. That's just that's just uh, that that just happened. Now, you know, when we hit the uh, redecorate and make everything less ugly phase of the game. Um, and, uh, we'll we'll integrate this properly, so we'll have a proper you know dock plus train station plus uh, dirt bike uh, mendips kind of a feel thing going on there, and 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 that'll be terrific. Now I need to I'll probably need um, an additional train to service this route because I'm definitely not going to be providing enough goods to fill a, a full ship, um, but that's okay. Uh, right, let's do the routes in order here. This isn't a bad little run, you know. This is this is quite a quite a good jaunt. Uh, let's go two of those, and then uh, we'll bang up one of them from Stans to wherever that is, Luzerne, presumably, uh, which we're going to call uh, the L Z N. That would be, or would I do L U Z? I think it's got to be L Z N, right? Um, uh, food. There we go. Happy, happy. And then same again for stands. 
what am I doing placing it over there? Why have I got two in town here? What are you for? What am I delivering there? When did I, pl when did I place that one? That's, that's interesting. Because you're already delivering by cart. Oh. I see. In which case, I'll just rededicate those carts. Fine. Uh, well, this is the better drop-off anyway. So this is uh, STN food. Well, I'm, I'm glad I noticed that. STN food. Um, uh, we'll call that STN food 2 for now, because I suspect if I go and look at all the lines we've got, we'll find an STN food just kind of sitting there merrily. Uh, right, let's pull up all these lads here. And, uh, right, fellas, uh, new, new idea for you. Go on to STN Food 2, yeah, and clear off. And then you do the same thing. Yes, and you clear off. And then you do the same thing and clear off. Have I got everybody? Uh, no, one more. Well, there he is, look. Uh, STN Food 2, there we are. Right, good. Kill that line. Uh, yep. And bring this one back up and then change the name of it. A, a terribly convoluted way of doing things, but, uh, you know, I just saved myself having to buy four wagons there, so, you know, I'm, I'm over it already. Uh, right, let's get some road vehicles going on here. One, two, three, four, should do the trick, and this is going to be on LZN. Flawless. Okay, smashing. Right, now, with those rolling, it should start to create demands uh, for, uh, uh, for, well, you know, for, for goods to be delivered by ship. So that means I've just got to buy a ship or, or several. Actually, I'm a bit broke. Oh, no, I'm less broke now. That's nice. I'd like to be a less, less broke still. Is that, is, is that something that can happen? Uh, how much do I need for a Wilhelm? Uh, 187. Well, that, that'll be a long momentarily. I'll buy that first. I know I haven't set the route up for it yet. Come on, 187. Come on, 162. No, no, there we go, 220. Marvellous. Right, and uh, set line, new line. From there, yeah, from Brienne's out to, I guess this is a Stans port, isn't it? No, it's a Luzerne port, all right. Well, fair enough. Uh, LZN, uh, your food, bulk. There we go. We have entered the shipping age, friends. That's, that's something that's just happened. Uh, ships are among us. All right, ship are among us. Um, and we will call this the CSS uh, 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 profitable. Profitable. Um, hopefully profitable. Maybe I should have gone for instead. But, uh, but there we go. So he's going to take a little while to... Uh, uh, she, you call ships she. Why has it got a cannon? I mean, are we expecting piracy? And we appear to have some kind of ramming rod on the front of it as well. Yeah, it's very it's mysterious behaviour. Um, so, yeah, so I think I am going to have to up the tempo on this train, you know. Uh, and that means that on its next return leg, it is going to go back to the depot again. What are we running on there at the moment? It's a Borsig, isn't it? Uh, so we need a, a heavier hauling train that can haul uh, extra, extra cattle. Uh, in order to hopefully fulfil the demand of the uh, of the port. Now, obviously, nothing's going to happen at the port for a little while while it uh, while it beds in that route. Look at this. This is my least favourite bit of track that I've built so far. Too abrupt. Just too abrupt. That's gonna that's gonna break couplings and all sorts. Although saying that, hold on, hold everything. Now, I said this is a shot I want to savour because who knows when we shall get such a shot again. Uh, or maybe the reverse angle is the one we want. Hold on. That's that's a that's a that's a corker. That is. Uh, ooh, let's pull away. Go manual. You may recognise this from the thumbnail. Yeah, there it is. Right. Oh, that's, that's worth the price of admission alone. I should just wrap the video up here. It's not going to get any better than that. No, that's it. I mean, you, that, that's it. That's, that's the spectacle. That's what you turned up for. That's, that's, uh, that's why you pay the premium subscription, surely. Uh, no, no, no. I, I jest, because I, I do. Uh, right, so we'll run this guy a little bit more. Um, and then, hopefully, uh, we'll have 
Are you carrying? You're not. Yeah, we definitely need to be shipping more goods here. Um, but well, otherwise, there's, there's precious little point to any of this. Uh, in addition, where are you? you're delivering to Sarnan. Now, Sarnan I could also drop off by, uh, by ship. But frankly, I want to keep this, um, uh, this truck route running. Because, you know, it makes people happy. And, uh, and, and who doesn't like trucks? Uh, meanwhile, here comes our hero. 16 food waiting. That is not going to do it. So you, chum, are going back to the depot. Uh, let us let us accelerate and get to that point. Let's, let's, uh, all right, no, let's ride on board very fast and get back to the depot. Uh, and then I will spend all of your recent earnings on buying new wagons and potentially a new train. Won't that be exciting? I, I think I, th I think this calls for the the implementation of, of one of those natty looking Russian numbers. Uh, but you know, we'll, that's another bit of wonky track there. I don't, I so disappoint myself with the wonky track. But oh, look at that though. I mean, that's a that's a, a nerve jangler. That's all the coal falling out the tender all over the track. Uh, whereupon the local children will turn up, take it home, and go look, father brought us coal. Well done, Timmy. Now go steal some apples. Um, right, there we go. Stop. No, back out of here. We don't want it to hit the station. We need you to get just past the turning. And then we'll, we'll wait for it. Pause. Turn it around. Oh, yeah. See? I could have tried to do that in real time, but it wouldn't have worked. Go to the depot. Uh, See? Yeah, no, pause. Pause is your friend. It allows you to make executive decisions uh, without wrecking everything. Okay, so once again, the train is back in the depot. It's like, you again? What's wrong with you now? Uh, it goes, oh, apparently I need a new wagon. Okay, uh, oh, all right then. Uh, should we sell it? No, let's sell the, let's sell the locomotive and commit to, uh, to uh, an upgrade. Uh, right. What have you got for me? I need something. I need something of a of a, a relatively good haul in kind of. We've got a, we've got quite a good selection here, actually. The Baldwin, sixty kilometers an hour, seventy of the tractor, over two eight four kilowatts, two fifty fifty, six hundred and five grand. That's not cheap. Uh, what about Great Western Railways? Marvelous, uh, fifty one fifty. I don't, I, and that's that's not. I, I suspect that is not doing justice to the the actual model itself. Uh, so nice and quick. Uh, fifty two fifty. What was this? Two eight four seventy. All right. So the Baldwin has clearly got the most. I hold everything. The the Keb four is going. I think you'll find I have the most grunt. And then we've got this uh, this chap here. Two ten sixty. Uh, and we've been running the Borsig, which is 90-20. So, well, frankly, any of these are an upgrade. Um, and you know what? I'm going to choose one of the Russians, because uh, otherwise, why did I bother downloading it? I, th I, think we can, I think we can all agree on that. Top speed there, 45. Uh, 50 would be better. Can we get a, a little bit more 70s? A lot. It's expensive to run this one, but the profits will go up dramatically. And, and that's even based on the, the cars we have now, because obviously the, the speed at which you deliver increases your, your earnings per mile. 605. What's the, what's the damage to my bank account at the moment? 4 million in the red. Ooh, we could, we could spend. We could, we could get this done. Yeah, go big or don't. Right, yeah, let's get him in. Welcome to the railway. Uh, and then we want some more wagons on there. Uh, give me... Uh, what do we got here? I'm, I'm going to stick with the European cars rather than the, uh, rather than the American ones. Because uh, the American ones are ridiculously huge. Uh, now, I may, I may come to regret this if this, if this looks daft after, uh, after filling it up. What does that take to do? 52. That takes us to 56, which means previously I couldn't count. Oh, no, you can count. 56. I would like to go higher than that, but I don't want to borrow any more money. I'm going to borrow some more money uh, and stick another four on there. 
There we go. Right, you better be worth it, Sunshine. That's 72 we've got on there, which is a lot. Um, but, you know, we don't... Pff, frankly, pay off and, and pronto. Right? We need that ship to be, uh, to be earning and not, uh, not a profit vacuum. Okay, well, this is an interesting configuration. Having the having a piston housing that far forward is, is slightly unusual, but it's it, it, they've got a the Zeppelin watcher on board. Although from this angle, it looks like he's facing the wrong way. No, 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 my mistake. He's fine. I'm loving the engine sound though. That's terrific. That's that's quite something. Right now, pick up all the stuff, and I've already made a goods train that is uh, that is pretty much longer than the station can handle which is you know that's always a good sign uh 72 of 72 this is gonna pay off like it's christmas uh good to see that it's you know generating some lightning uh out there obviously mr tesla's had something to do with the construction of this particular locomotive right let's uh let's do a follow along here Well, uh, well, a terrific job done on this uh, on this model. I, I like that a lot. Fantastic. I would give it credit to the uh, to the to the creator, but you know, obviously, I haven't written his name down or anything. So, uh, you know, just you know, consider this a virtual high five. I also like that he's nicked somebody else's tender because that's a one five four and that's a one four five. Unless that has additional meaning that I am not necessarily privy to. Uh, right, okay, we got stung at the end of the year with the additional loan for an extra 22.5k. Seen worse. Um, now, obviously, we spent quite a bit last year, not only on this, this chap here, but also on, uh, on various tracking changes. And what, sort of, what sort of speed are you getting? Well, it's doing the 50, so it's already faster than the, the Borsig was handling. I am faintly optimistic that this will pay off nicely. Nice, big, good stream. Already. Uh, now, in the comments last time, while we wait for this chap to arrive, uh, there were several people saying, well, why don't you just haul um, your, your grain and, uh, and cattle at the same time? To which I say, yes, that would work. However, and there is a however attached to it, uh, it would mean carrying um, uh, grain cars as well. Uh, and, and then you can't do anything with the food. Now, this might work on this particular line because some of that food is being delivered by truck after being dropped off. So I may still end up with a full load of uh, food coming back in the opposite direction. But I suspect quite strongly that over time what I'd do is, uh, is I'd end up running uh, with, with so much food in store that I'd stop producing. So I'm going to stick to a, a cattle-only regime for the moment, uh, and then we'll we'll reconsider later on. I might need to do a reset on the station uh, that's that's storing the cattle and the grain at the moment anyway, in order to fit, free up a little bit more platform space uh, for this job. What will be interesting to see is if it's replenished itself sufficiently by the time it gets back there uh, that we can take another full look. Anyway, here we go. It's going to be payday. This is going to be a lot of money. I'm going for 270k. That's my guesstimate. Tell me I'm wrong. And? 470k. Well, I can't say I'm disappointed. That's very nice indeed. Thank you very much. I'll take it. You're, you're most kind. Um, yeah, that's, 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 this works for me. How much are you packing out? 31 on the way back. This works for me too. Uh, grand. Okay, smashing. So this is going to drop off and make a good, a good chunk of change over here. Uh, which, for some reason, has got food waiting. I don't know why that is. And then up there, we've got 78 cattle waiting. This is, this is going to go swimmingly. Uh, right, okay, that's going to wrap it up for this time. Um, uh, we could wait for the ship to come back and make its first pickup, but I'll tell you what, we'll, we, will, we will resume uh, at that point uh, next time you're around. I, I, I'm feeling generous in that regard. Um, 
Uh, anyway, thank you very much for watching today. I've been Colonel Failure. Throw a like at this one if you had a merry old time. Uh, and, uh, and subscribe to ensure you don't miss the next enthralling adventure. Now, what am I going to do next? I mean, we've got, we've got pretty decent cash flow now, he says, looking at his cash flow. Yeah, see, I mean, we've got, we've got cash flow like two million in. And it's a million and change going out again. But, you know, that's... Uh, yeah, see, that's not so bad. Um, which means we can we can look to ex expand a little more aggressively. So uh, I've, I've had the notion, and, you know, hear me out, um, that, uh, that I, I set up some kind of rail line up in the mountains. Uh, now, running a rail line up the mountain is going to be tricky, but running a rail line in the mountains could be quite something. Uh, anyway, you're just going to have to tune in next time to see that happen, um, or not, if I decide not to do it. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Catch up with you very soon.